we're gonna give this Q&A another shot. I do love a good Q&A. Okay. I do too, okay, but star 67. And I almost read this out loud. <laughs> <laughs> her number is, her address is, and thank you, Court, for setting all of this up. Yeah, I well, thank you to everyone. And you were busy. You were busy making a living. I was, just that little thing called work. However, before we get started on this, um, do you remember me telling you weeks and weeks ago, there's a show called Married at First Sight? Yes. And I said, they're coming to Dallas. You have yes. to go do it. It is on now, and I need you to watch to see if any of the guys could have okay, been so your perspective. I I'm remember going, you telling me about this. So I... <laughs> Nobody knows this. And I don't know if it was that one. So I got, so I follow all, all these casting oh, directors. Like, did you? So these casting, so this casting director sends me this email and it's for a show similar. Well, I filled it out, but she emailed back and they were looking for women 40 and over. Oh no, this, that's And I was so, I was like, oh my God, she contacted me. Like they probably want me for this show. And she's like, sorry, you're too young. I'm like, that's the first time I've ever had the you're too young. Usually it's like. I tell you that all the time. <laughs> I was just like, but I could, I could be 40. She's like, yeah, no thanks. But I did apply. I wonder what that show was for. I can't remember. I'll have to go back and look. I'm watching. So there's only been. What network is this on? FYI. Okay. Um, You know, I've been obsessed with the show for a long time. But this time I'm more invested because I'm looking at the guys going, one of those guys could have been Courtney's. Could have been Courtney's. However, they determine the matches based on the girls. So the guys wouldn't have technically been yours. But there's one. I think his name is Bobby. Oh, the one I applied for, you go, do you go around the world on this one? No. Do you that's date? probably Married at First Flight. I think I, that's the one I yes. applied for. Also on the same network, it actually goes right after. Because, I, you know what, I was like, ooh, I don't mind a free trip. I'll marry a Frenchman. But you got to be stuck with him the entire time you're I know. traveling. And, and I would want to live travel in mates, I know. Yeah. No, and I, you do not want a bad travel mate. Real quickly, because we need to get to this. But yeah. You know what else I started watching? What? Below Deck. <gasps> do you, is that you? Who's yes, that's that? me. Okay, so I downloaded, I yes, it. I downloaded Did the app. Mediterranean? Below Deck Mediterranean. Yeah, Mediterranean. I've only seen one episode, and I jumped in right in the middle, so I wasn't quite sure what the storylines were, but first of all, we need to figure out how to get on one of these boats, and just Dude. like, just to be the people, I just want to be the people, like, in the background, eating the food, and like, having the vacation. Here's I don't need to be thing. in the drama. If you've watched it, I know, I don't want to, I can't work on it, I get seasick, we all know this, oh, but yeah, I could do it for a day or good. two, but when they get off the boat, and they hand them tips... Each of those crew members gets like a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars. Oh, I missed that part. All right, well then I will be on no, part of the tip, crew. No, but and I'm going. How much does that yacht cost? They're only out there three days. And in the episode, I saw the people. I mean, they just look like normal people. It's not like Kim Kardashian did not walk on this thing. Uh, the one I'm watching, it's they're pretty of, swanky. Yeah, they're swanky people. Anyway, oh, but that is the goal. I'm to excited, get on. so I'm going to keep watching. I'm, to get I'm, on below deck, but I don't want to have to work below deck. I want to be on. <laughs> she wants to be uh, above the deck. I want to go to the Mediterranean. She I've never even been the there. Deck. Can we start with I that? Know. Oh my gosh, they were in Capri. Oh, so, so I know. awesome. I know. Okay. Okay, let's do this. We have our so, first one. What's her name? We are calling TK Trask from Texas. Her name's TK? Yes, according to Instagram. We shall. Oh, it's just her Instagram name? Yeah, I just wrote Instagram names <laughs> now. So, we'll see. That was, I always get nervous. I do too. Let me see if I'm going to do that right. Okay. Is it? Do you? Oh, it's ringing, but why can't I hear it? Oh, no. Tara. Oh, hello. This is the Dirty Hair Podcast. Hey, ladies. How are you? Good. Can you hear us okay? Yeah, can you hear me? We did it. You sound great. So we're not very, we're not, still not very good at the whole calling <laughs> thing. Yes, hey, act professional. We are .co. <laughs> we do this all the time. <laughs> so you said your name was Tara? Yeah, or TK is how I how I usually put it on social media. Yeah, so we stalked you and found <laughs> found TK. Let's call her TK. Yeah, I like cool TK. All right, like TK, TK. What you got for us today? All right, ladies. So my question to you is: obviously, you guys are heavy on social media and you utilize it very very well. Oh, how do you deal media. with the trolls? Oh my! Gosh. Did you tune into the last podcast? Uh, <laughs> I did. How do you deal with trolls? Is, I'm still okay. trying to figure it out. So you, okay, so this is Courtney, and I, I say that because I know sometimes people, can't people tell us say we sound alike. Um, so You do sound alike. I yeah. Do, I do. Do we? That. That's so funny. Okay, so it's so funny that you asked this today because I just posted. So I'm way more active on Facebook. Yeah. Well, which is odd because you're yeah. in your 20s. Well, the thing is, I post longer form videos that don't, I can't 
you know, you can only post like a minute or whatever yeah, on Instagram. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I post these videos. Um, I'm like super active in like the Western. Like yeah, that's rude. You should probably <laughs> I think start. I, do. I have fifteen thousand followers on oh Facebook. My gosh, I'll have you're you know. Such a big deal. I'm almost at Melissa Rycroft status. Shut up. So I actually, Tara, I just made a video today that I posted. I don't get a ton, a ton of trolls. But I just, um, I created this video for the University of Wyoming just on my own social media page and it like got a ton of views, whatever. I had a couple of the nastiest, mm -hmm. most negative comments and I like just, I just ignored them. I was like, whatever. And then you know what? what? The more I thought about it, I was like, no, like, no, 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 yeah. no, that's not okay. So I created another video today and I did not use the guy's last name. I did not use his social media handle. But his first name is up there, and I posted his message, and I responded to it, and I responded to not just to him, but just to anyone who thinks that that's okay. Because at the end of the day, we're all human beings, here's and my you argument. get this a I lot. do, but here's my argument to that, what you just did, is you just played Gave the game. Gave him attention. You played the game. Yeah. No, so, no, you have to watch the video and let me know I, what I will, think. I will, because I... I feel like I used to try to do that. I used to try to mm -hmm. defend myself, if you will, because obviously trolls come out just to be nasty and negative mm -hmm. and attack whatever. And they what can. you just said, sometimes they just want to respond. And they do, but that is all they want. That's all they want. Nobody is going out of their way to make nasty comments just to say it and leave. Because if you notice, at least I've noticed on my social media, the people that make the negative comments, whenever people come to defend me or defend another stance, those people must be refreshing their feed because they immediately start fighting back. What do you do for work, sir? No, oh, you must not have a job. So I delete. That's my thing now because I you feel like delete. you get more satisfaction. They know I've deleted them. Mm -hmm. They know I've blocked them. Mm -hmm. And you essentially kind of win going, you wanted an argument mm -hmm. and I'm not giving you an argument. TK, do you get trolled? Did you ask because you get trolled? I, well, no, I asked. Topic yeah, with, you know women today and people who are you know utilizing social media to their you know to to do well in this world or to you know spread positive it's huge things. and yeah I just wanted to see what your guys thoughts were on it because obviously as I said you guys are power girls and out there and and I want to know how you guys handled it so I feel like it's sad even when you do try to just post positive stuff which is what mm -hmm. I, I honestly do try to do mm -hmm. I don't I don't try to stir the Me pot either. or get controversial or anything but people will find yeah. and, like, and, stuff and, to pick and about. And it's interesting anything. you say that because I feel like both of our brands are very much, we're not, we're not we're talking not politics yeah. on social media. We're not picking fights. We're not, I mean, I feel like both of our brands are, are fairly common ground, positive, uplifting, you know, I don't. I, yeah. I mean, I can make fun of myself. I do that oh, absolutely. all the time. <laughs> we pick up. Okay, so we say now we should disclaimer. If you ever go through Melissa's pictures and look at the comments that we're leaving on That's one true. another, we pick on each other. We're friends, so that doesn't count. It's all but in good we fun. definitely pick on each other. Um, that's awesome. Do you have any? Uh, do you have another question? Well, I think my next question is how do you guys? Well, that's, that kind of leads me into my next yeah. question, I guess. How do you guys? each other you know and and not feel like you have to compete with each other I think that in today's world a lot of the friends you know they maybe see another friend succeeding or doing better or whatnot what is your advice to you know help support fellow women and friends and be there for each other oh that's a great question I honestly think it's just so much easier mm -hmm. to be friends than it is to be enemies because I think we all have those people out there that you don't like it takes so much energy to not like them. Mm -hmm. It really does, you know, and it, you find yourself, you're being consumed by it where it's like at the end of the day, if I focus on me or like Court and I back each other up where we have that kind of friendship of like, what do you need? I'm here. Right. I want to see you succeed. But it's so much easier to genuinely just want people to be happy for people to want to do well. And if you don't get along, you don't get along. Fine. Mm -hmm. But don't you think don't you think it yeah. takes so much more energy no. just to not support 100%. each other? It takes so much energy to just be bitter and jealous. And it, you know, it, it's hard. Sometimes it's hard not to be jealous even of Jealousy's your normal. even of your of your girlfriends, yeah. but at the same time it has to be such a constant support thing. I mean, we probably can pull up our text messages right now. We've got text messages like, hey, you're jumping on a plane. Go kill it. Like, yeah, good luck. I've got you back you. while you're gone. You know, whatever. Um, but I will I will tell you this. So uh, the show that Melissa and I worked on together, when they announced that, you know, the Melissa Rycroft is coming oh, on our show, I immediately was like, oh, my God. Like, she's so famous. And I've told so Melissa not, this. <laughs> I thought, oh, for, she's for sure probably not nice. I bet she is like, oh my gosh, because she's just so beyond anything that I've ever worked with or whatever. 
And that, that's part of the industry too. But like the minute I met her, oh my God, there was just like such a connection. And I told you this, mm-hmm. it has been so inspiring and phenomenal to have met Mel because it just like re um, instated the fact that women are badasses and they're uh, most of them when they get to Melissa's level have gotten to that level because they're they're kick ass and because they're great genuinely because they're great people and I owe Courtney twenty dollars yeah I, I she could have paid that. but you know I, yeah I think you just have to support each other yeah. and at the end of the day if women don't support each other like no one else is going to we no. gotta support each other no and it's not worth keeping those people in your life no if you've got cause, cut them out yeah the older you get the easier it is to see people that are mm-hmm. genuine happy for you and people that are not really happy when success comes your way and I think you have to just be able to say that okay I know that you don't have Mm -hmm. my best interest in mind so let's keep that friendship very surface and I know who you are um yeah and just and just cut them out cut them those were great questions, Yay, Tara. TK. Thank you so no, much. TK. She's I know TK. TK. She's I'm TK, sorry. the cool chick. Yeah. I love it. TK, like, like, you. Kick ass and uh, I am happy to be there and support you all through what you all do. So and we support you too, TK. And we'll leave we, you nice comments. We support you. And TK, you have a podcast too, right? Is that right? I do. Yes, it's called Stylish or at Radio Stylish. If you're on any of the social media, there you and go. Hopefully, I want to get you gals on so we can talk fashion and style. Oh, well, you know where to find us. Now. We like that. Yeah. Women supporting women. Check out TK's podcast. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks, gals. Have a good day. Okay, Thank bye. You. you too. All right. She, she was, was awesome. so cute. Yeah, she was cute. Okay. Way to start positively. We like TK. Yes, All right. we do. Next up, we're calling Maria from New Jersey. New Jersey. Oh, you think she's going to have a fun accent? I don't know. I hope so. We're going from Midwest to New Jersey, so East Coast, and I'm not sure where our last caller's from. Maybe she's West Coast. All right, this is Maria. Maria. I think that's what I got off of her Instagram. Her name could be Sandy. (laughs) Heart flutters. I know, it's kind of nerve wracking. Heart flutters. I hope I don't get embarrassed again. (laughs) I do. (laughs) Way to be surprised. Hi, this is the Dirty Hair Podcast. Did you get nervous? Hi. Is this Maria? How are you? This is Maria, yes. Maria, you sound adorable. How old are you? I'm actually 36. <gasps> You're like Most me. People we think I am, but I'm 36. We both sound like we're 14. I I'll love it. it. That's a good that's a good problem to have. <laughs> How's it going, Maria? I'm sorry? Excuse me, I was sipping my drink. Oh, sorry, and I'm not helping. I'm, how's it going? <laughs> I'm going okay, yeah. What do you have for us today? So, okay, so should I just start asking the questions? Yeah, or? whatever you I mean, this is your open line, whatever you've got. Okay. Um, okay, so I'll start with Melissa. Yes, ma'am. I have a question for you. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I was curious if you ever pictured yourself being um, a hostess on Dancing with the Stars, like the way Erin is. Um, funny story, when Samantha Harris, you remember her way back in the day? When um, she left the position right before Brooke Burke, it was down to me and Brooke Burke of who was going to get that job. Ah, dang it, Brooke Burke! I know. Wow. I was one person away. However, I look back, that was 10 years ago, dude. I had That's no crazy. clue what I was doing. And I, I sit here going, man, I didn't even realize the scope of that, like how big that job was and that it was between me and somebody that had been in the industry so for cool. 20 years. Um, yeah, but man, talk about a life changer. That would have been, yeah, I know how much money they make. <laughs> You're doing okay. I honey. know, but man, you know what I mean? It's like, oh. Your time is coming, sweetie. So, yes, I yeah, have. I was going to say, maybe down the line, it, it could be your position. I maybe mean, at some point. you never know. I got close once before, so if they're looking again, I'll, I'll come rear my head. I love doing that stuff. I mean, and obviously, at the time that that opportunity came up, I had just finished um, my first season of dancing, and so everybody there was family, and it was, I, it was one of those, I was going, man, this could be so cool, I know mm-hmm. everybody, yeah. and it would be a way to kind of stay in, but at the same time, I really believe that everything happens for a reason, and there's a reason, obviously, I didn't get the job, um, I've gotten to do so many other things since then that I probably wouldn't have been able to do if I had gotten that job, even though that was a really big job. 
I know. So yeah, if you're right. looking, Dancing with the Stars, yeah. her number is 732. They, they, they've got my number. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Call her. <laughs> Thanks, Maria. That was fun. <laughs> um, actually, I started watching Dancing with the Stars just because I had watched when you were on The Bachelor. <gasps> when I found out that they picked you to be the... That's the only reason. Aww. I never gave the show a chance. And when I found out you were going to be on it, I was like, okay. I'll give it a chance. And then I ended up, it's actually one of my favorite shows now. Is it? You know what's funny? I had never watched the show either (laughs) when I got the call. And I made, yeah, sure, I'll be on this show. I made such a fool of myself. And I don't know if you'll understand, Court, because I know you don't watch the dance shows. But my first rehearsal with Tony, first of all, I didn't know who Tony was. The producer had to pull me aside and say, his name's Tony. And I was like, oh, okay. And I start talking, and we're on camera, and we've got people filming us. And I was like, I hope we impress Nigel. I can't wait to impress Nigel. I know. And Tony's looking at me going, no, wrong dance (laughs) show. And I went, oh, my bad. (laughs) Oops, I hope Simon (laughs) likes my singing. No clue what I was walking into. (laughs) Oh, that's why I love you. (laughs) (laughs) And we both became fans of it. So there we go. All right. Do you have one? um, it's fun, isn't it? Okay. It is. <laughs> Courtney's turn. Um, yes, well, I wanted to ask Courtney a question, too. Um, okay, so I know you're a big traveler, and I was curious if you had to choose one place to live besides where you live now. Ooh. Where would it be of the places you travel if you had to pick one? Oh, man, this is one of the hardest you've been questions I've ever been asked. Okay, so... I've been all over. I just got back from South America. I don't know that I would live in South America yeah. for the rest of my life. Um, one of the yeah, so one of the best trips I've been on was Greece. I absolutely loved it. Um, but I and this is going to sound so stereotypical, and I say this to people: if whether you've been if you've been there, you understand this. If you've never been there, you're like, oh my god, that's been. so cliche. Like, of course, I would live in Italy. I could be Italian, hands down, no questions asked. One of the very first places um, that I traveled, I actually lived in the Czech Republic. And when I was there, I traveled around Europe. And I got to go and stay with um, a family in Italy. So that was the first time I'd ever gone to Italy. Um, they lived in a former Medici home. So like this is like next level mm-hmm. Italy. But I've done Italy both like staying in a hostel and staying in you know a fancy house. It's just... They're dramatic. They eat a lot of pasta. They do. They're, uh, they're just, I love the Italian people and just the landscape and the culture. I'm a huge fan of Tuscany. Um, one of the coolest things I, the coolest thing I've ever done traveling, hands down, and I've done so many like chance, life, like, you know, once in a lifetime things, but there is a bareback horse race in Siena, Italy. Of mm-hmm. course, I'm a huge horse lover, but even if you don't like horses or animals or whatever, this is so cool because they literally like line the streets of this like village with dirt and they race these horses bareback through the streets of this city. And it is wild. I mean, these Italians are like next Ooh, level sounds crazy. Sounds like a wild party, it is, Courtney. It is so fun. So if I had to live anywhere, I would live in Italy. I think we lost Maria, unfortunately. We did. Yeah, our connection. Oh no, her. Maria. Those well, she good. can listen to the podcast. Those were good questions. Those though. were good questions. I think. Now, here's the thing. I haven't been anywhere. I have been to a few places. I've been to New Zealand. New Zealand is on my bucket list. But I didn't get to see it, so I can't tell you about it. Yeah. I was sequestered (laughs) the whole time. Um, I would imagine in my mind Greece. Greece is amazing. It's in my blood. Yeah. It's that. Yeah, you're Greek. Greek. You're Greek. So you would fit right in. I. Just that was pictures, one of my like, top five trips. stuff yeah. that I've seen. No, Greece, Greece is amazing. Um, and I did, and we, and I did the very stereotypical like go to Santorini, which you is where everybody to. goes. Yeah, it, it was like once in a lifetime. It was amazing. Maybe we'll go. Maybe maybe somebody's listening. Maybe you're gonna to fly get us to on Greece. married at first flight, and I'll bring you. We're with gonna me. go to Greece. I'm gonna be one of your bridesmaids. I love it. Oh and my then gosh, we'll podcast, can you imagine? We'll podcast from a Greece. Uh, well, oh, that was it again. That was Italy, not a Greece. Well, I'll be Italian <laughs> at that point. So close enough. Close enough. Okay, 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 Maria. Thank you so much. We're sorry we lost you. Next up, we're gonna call Ashley. She's got a couple of questions for us, but man, these ladies have been rocking it. These have been great questions. I am ready, except... I'm a little disappointed that Melissa has not yet been mortified, Why but... are you upset by that? <laughs> it's you should so... be my friend. Because Didn't it's we so just funny. talk about this women is, supporting This is how women? friends support friends, just like this. Ah, oh, so good. But hey, so side fun. note. Last week, when I told you that I got a sinus infection from my strep throat, you mm-hmm. could not have been less supportive. <laughs> 
<laughs> All you said was, I hope you did not give it to me <laughs> well, it's, it's while true. I was at your house. I was hoping you didn't give it to me. And I didn't, did I? But you're feeling better, so that's good news. I, a little bit. I tell you what, the doctor looked this a little bit weather. like the BFG, and I don't think he really knew what he was talking about. What's a BFG? A, the Big Friendly Giant. Oh, <laughs> that's before my I time, I went to obviously. a doctor. <laughs> in the box. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's all I go to. Are we no, done? I don't want to talk to oh. you. <gasps> Hi, Ashley. Hey. This is the Dirty Hair Podcast. I, okay. Like, I didn't say I call her ID. I don't know if I should use her. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Sorry. It's just us. <laughs> I know. It's a, I, I'm like, that's okay. You know how sometimes the crazy people call you and they block your... They block the number or whatever. Well, so we are nervous. crazy people. <laughs> we are those we crazy block people. Our number, so yeah, we <laughs> fall into that category. How's it going today, Ashley? Oh no, we can't hear you either. Oh man, you're cutting in and out, Ashley. She's gone. Oh well. That was probably the question too. It really probably that was. That was probably the question. But we have to try Ashley next time. We'll do yeah. another Q&A. Yeah, we'll definitely do another Q&A because we love this. It's fun um, just to see what you guys want to know. And and I didn't get embarrassed this time. I know. These were like, these were, we like had four legit? very solid, yeah. legit questions. Not that the one that embarrassed Melissa was not legit because <gasps> I thought it was hilarious. Um, you'll have to go back and mm -hmm. re-listen to that podcast if you missed it. But no, those were, those were four really great questions. Um, from those two girls, and I love it. I know. This was fun. It is fun. And we have to do this. Okay, so we've got next week. I'm going to be out of town the week after that. You know, Are I'm you? going to the beach. Are you? Next Friday. Oh, yeah, that's right. I didn't realize that the beach diet had to start already. I'm like, yeah, I'm less than so two weeks funny. out. I, I told someone today, they're like, they were eating a cinnamon roll or something at work, and they were like, oh, man, this isn't on my beach diet. And I said, my beach diet never starts until I actually go to the I beach know, that's my and thing. see myself at the beach. And then I'm like, oh, oh then it's brother, too late. <laughs> I should have been on a beach diet, but now it's too late, so I don't really care. So you're going to the beach. Um, this is kind of like a makeup for this the This is a cruise. makeup for the disaster For the Disney tsunami cruise. cruise. <laughs> yeah, so we are going directly to the beach. We're not taking a boat there or anything. Just you and Ty or the kids No, going. we're taking everybody. So everybody's going. Yeah, it's family. a full-fledged family uh -huh. vacation. So in two weeks, we may be a little late on the podcast. So my invite to the beach must be on the way? No, it's not coming. To the mail? Yes. <laughs> no, just not there. Okay. Hey, do you want to come Fine. with all the kids? You know No. Anybody out there with kids knows a trip to the beach when you have children. Are you flying? Oh, yeah, I we're assume. flying. But if my kids are so little that... It's a full-time job. Maybe three hours at the beach, and that's a lot. And, and that's a you, lot. Then what lot. do you do the rest of the day? Well, where we're going, it's a really small community. There's like a boardwalk that mm -hmm. takes you into town. You can only ride bikes or golf carts. There's no cars. Um, and they do movies on the beach. It's very family-oriented. But again, my kids are so yeah. little that it's like it's on duty. And do they sleep well, or are they just like up all night? No, like because they're kids excited. Sleep great. They so sleep like great. they still go to bed and stuff at night. Oh okay. yeah, and they nap. So well, I'll sit them. this one out. When you and Ty go to Greece, I'll come on that oh, one. Oh, I bet you you're going before. I'll come to that. I'll come to that one with you. Or Italy. I'm available for I'm Italy probably, as well. Here's the thing. I'm several years out from any of those trips. Yeah, your kids because are Because of little. the kids. Yeah. yeah. I, I can only watch you go on trips <laughs> and then watch. The I'll only, send pictures. The only time that Courtney is active on social media is when she's out of the country. And then she <laughs> posts 8,000 pictures. Literally. Of because I want everyone to know how much Jeez. fun I'm having. And then she comes back and you're MIA. But then I have, because I have no life. But <laughs> still. nothing <laughs> exciting happening on my social media to, to share. Uh, okay. But this was good. This was yeah, fun. Yeah, this was fun. Thank you to everyone who called in. Maria, TK, Ashley, sorry we missed you. We'll get you next time. Yeah, we'll definitely we'll definitely do this again. So thanks for listening to the Dirty Hair Podcast. You can listen on iTunes. You can check out our website. Dirtyhair.co. Yep. Can't afford the com. Still can't afford the com. One of these days, though. We will. Keep telling your friends about us. And one of these days, we'll be able to afford com. Melissa will be hosting Dancing with the Stars, and I'll be living in She'll Italy. be in Italy. Ooh, I like that scenario. Man, this is going to work out well for us. <laughs> Thanks for listening.